This is the solution to quiz two. Okay, so it says uh, to simplify these these expressions according to those instructions. So what we'll do is we'll take the original expression square root seven over eight plus square root five. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the only thing we can multiply by and not change the exercise. We'll multiply by one. So that would be square root seven over eight plus square root five. And the specific form of one we'll do is eight minus square root five over eight uh, minus square root five. So notably that that's the same expression over the same expression, so that is one. And these two Are conjugates. So when you multiply those together in the numerator, <coughs> you get so square root 7 and multiplied by 8 minus square root 5, and in the denominator, we get the product of conjugates. So that'd be 8 plus the square root of 5 multiplied by 8 minus the square root of 5. Well, <coughs> that would be um, 8 square root 7 minus, well, the square root of 7 times the square root of 5 is the square root of 35. And then in the denominator, we would have 64 plus, uh, well, minus, if we do it in the FOIL order. So minus 8 square root 5 plus 8 square root 5, and then minus square root 5 squared. So notice that the terms in the middle cancel. And we get 8 square root 7 minus square root 35 divide by 60 or minus 5 which is 8 square root 7 minus square root 5 over 59. For square root 600, well, that would be the square root of 6 uh, times 10 squared, because that's 600. Uh, but since this is second radical, that means things can come out in groups of 2. So that 10 squared comes out as a 10. And we get 10 square root 6. The 6 can't come out because it's not squared. Okay. For this one, uh, things can come out in groups of three. So this is um, cube root, and then 256, that is uh, 2 to 8, is right, 7, 8, yes, 2 to 8. So that would be 2 to 3 multiplied by 2 to 3, that's 8 times 8, uh, t 
times 2 to 2. Yeah, so 8 times 8 is 64, times 4 is 256. And then w to 5, well, that's w to 3 times w to 2. And then the z's are z to 3 times z to 3 times z to 2 because that's 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 2 more is 8. So all these things can come out in groups of 3 so that means that uh, that can come out this can come out this can come out uh, that one cannot come out this one can come out and this one can come out. All the other things that we don't have a group of three for cannot come out. So then that would be two times two times w times z times z Uh, and that's all that can come out. And then cube root, well, 2 squared remains inside, and w squared remains inside, and z squared remains inside. <coughs> so simplifying this, that'd be 4 w z squared. And then cube root for w squared z squared. So notice that n nothing further can be factored into groups of three, so nothing further in here can come out. Okay, this is, <clears throat> by definition, uh, 128 to one seventh, and then this squared. So this is, uh, well, 128 to the seventh root of that is two, and then this squared is four. Okay, for this one, it is, uh, again, going to be negative 128 to 1 seventh and then this squared and then the question is I'll rewrite this to make it a little clearer is that we want to consider the seventh root of negative 128 recall that even radicals require uh, non-negative arguments, but odd radicals can accept any argument, so this is in fact defined. <clears throat> so this is negative 2, the seventh root of negative 128 squared, which is 4. So for this one, we'll perform a distribution. So <clears throat> I'll distribute this to each one of these terms. Which is to say that we get 8w plus 3 times 6w squared plus 8w plus 3 times 3w and then minus 
w plus 3 uh, times 5. So now in turn, each one of these is distributed the other way. So distribute, 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 distribute. <coughs> Okay, so 6 times 8 is 48, and then w cubed. And then uh, 6 times 3 is 18, so plus 18w squared. <coughs> plus 3 times 8 is 24w squared. And then plus 9w. And then minus <coughs> 40w uh, plus 15. And in grading this exercise, I would suspect that one of the main mistakes that students make is they fail to either put parentheses around these two terms or they fail to distribute this negative if they're trying to do it without parentheses. So now we need to collect like terms. Okay, that's the only cube. So this would be 48w cubed. Now let's collect the squares. That would be 18 plus 24 is 34 is 42, so plus 42w squared. Now the w's, <clears throat> so that would be 9 minus 40, that would be minus 31w, and then the units, minus 15. Okay, uh, so the idea for this one is that this shape, area of the shaded region that we're looking for is going to be the area of the big circle minus the area of the little circle. Well, that will be pi times uh, 2x plus 3 squared minus pi times x plus 1 squared <clears throat> so I'll factor out the common pi two x plus three squared minus x plus one squared and now I'll multiply those out. So pi multiplied by 4x squared plus 2x times 3 is 6, and then we get that twice, plus 12x plus 9, and then minus x squared plus 2x plus 1. be pi multiplied by, let's collect, so 4x minus, 4x squared minus 1x squared is 3x squared, and then 12x minus 2x is 10x, and then 9 minus 1 is 8. And that's the answer to the question.